Shepherd of us all, Savior of us all, Lover of us all. We are on the Lord's side. We will never give up. We are overcome. Thank you for making us to be among those who you are giving the privilege to live. You have extended our life again, contrast with life. Jesus, we have come to hear from you. I ask, oh God, your mercy speak to every one of us, speak to our direction in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, every plan of the wicked against this ministry, every plan of the married kingdom, I thwart it, I come against it. Whatever mm -hmm. move mm -hmm. is about to move right now against this ministry, I scatter it, I dissolve mm -hmm. it, I come again. You know, happen, it will never be in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, because I know you will keep your faithful children safe and secure in Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 We have a message this morning for the throne of mercy. Titled The Joyful Journey of Suffering and Pain. The Joyful Journey of Suffering and Pain. Somebody might ask me what concerns joy, pain, and suffering again. Can they work together? Yes. The journey we are in, the journey to heaven, is a joyful journey. Or painful and full of suffering, sorrow. In that sorrowful state of life, painful state of life, you must be joyful in it. That makes it a heavenly journey. Brethren, I want us to know, I want us to understand that the journey we are in is the journey of pain, as I said before, sorrow and tears accompanying with death threat all around. The journey of pain, sorrow and tears accompanying with death threat all around. Hence, the Bible told us in Revelation chapter 21, verse 4 And God shall wipe away all their tears from their eyes, not now. And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. But so long we are in the body, we are on the road to heaven. All these are bound. Most times we can't escape them. We are bound to share tears now. Sorrow pain everywhere. But the Lord is saying, at the end of the journey, when we shall cross over, He will wipe them away and it shall never be again. So we must be patient to make sure, no matter how the tears are gushing out, no matter the sorrow and pain, no matter what is happening around us, stay put, be joyful, because there is joy across the line. Praise Master Jesus Christ. 
Hallelujah. Brethren, the true believers of Christ are surrounded by troubles. The true believers of Christ are what? Surrounded by troubles, distress, perplexity, persecutions, loneliness, and the burden of death is around them. But in all, in all, but in all, joyful, joy for the hope of glory to come. But yet, they are joyful because they know something is ahead of them. There are trouble on, on every side, perplexity, distresses, persecution, loneliness, a burden of death is, is around them. But in all, they are joyful still because they know whatever they are going through has an end. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yes. yes, we are told in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, from verse 8 down to 11. We are troubled on every side, you and I, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not despair. Nine, persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Ten, always bearing about in the body, in the body, the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body when the time comes. Eleven, for which our life are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus may be made manifest in our mortal flesh across the line. So no matter what is going on now, we are bound to face them. No matter what you are facing right now, so long you are facing it because of Christ, you are bound to face them. It is the cross that you and I must carry. But I tell you something, when you shall joyfully carry it to the end, there is an unspeakable joy waiting for you and I. And I pray, the Lord will give us the grace to carry it to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Brethren, God has never promised anyone free or smooth ride in the journey, in the heavenly journey. Mm -mm. I remember those days when we were in one church, they, they make it seem as if when, once you are born again, everything now is, is free, bed of rules. No more pain, no more distress. You are just, you'll be enjoying life. No. Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ have never promised anybody free ride or free smooth ride in the heavenly journey. He have, he have always told us to expect the unimaginable as we journey on the narrow road. But He promised to be there with us all the way. The only promise promise was is that he will be there all the way. But many things are about to happen. But always remember that the Lord is there for you. Hence, the Bible told us in the book of Isaiah 43, verse 2. When thou passeth through the water, when thou, not if you, hmm? not if you, when thou, it means it is imperative. When thou passeth through the water, I will be there with thee. And through the river, they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burnt. Neither shall the flame kiddo upon thee. When thou, not if you thou, is not a conditional statement, we are bound to face them. But it is certain that the Lord will be there to deliver you and I. So whenever those things come, always remember that the Lord is there to deliver you. No matter how it might distress you, no matter how it might feel that the world is turning against you, remember that it is written that you and I will pass through them, but the Lord is always there to deliver his own. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Um, the more godly, please get this. The more godly, the more holy, the more righteous you are, the more persecuted you will be. 
the more the ungodly world will persecute you. Don't ever think, hey, I'm holy now, I'm free. No, 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 no. The more holy you are, the more the enemies are against you. The more you are striving to love God, the more you are telling Satan, I am your enemy now. The lesser you are of God, the lesser you have from the devil. The more you are of God, the more Satan will pierce you so that he can strip you out from the way of God. But stay put and remain holy and righteous. The Bible told us in 2 Timothy 3 verse 12. Yea, and all that will live godly, not those that will live ungodly, all that will live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution. Hmm? So don't think because you are holy, you are free from persecution. No. Don't think because you pray so much, the devil will be looking at you. No. Don't think because now I am righteous now. Hey, thank God. I am able to avoid some sin. The more you avoid some sin, the more you are guarded problem around you. The more the devil is sending more demons, more problems, more things to pierce you. So therefore, stay strong and remain holy. Amen? Amen. Amen. The righteous are always at the center of afflictions. Please get this. The righteous, affliction is not only when you are sick. Affliction can mean many things. The righteous are always at the center of afflictions. But their deliverer never leave them nor forsake them. Amen. The righteous are always at the center of problem. The devil is always trying to encompass them around to make sure they are drilled out. They are stressed up. To think that others will go through easy for them, but you, if you put your head there, it's as if the whole world is turned upside down on you. The places people will go, they just go and come out freely. You go, your own, say, ah, Am I cursed? You are not cursed. Because the power there has been told, stress her so that she will deny God. Stress him so that he or she will deny his or her faith. But the Lord will deliver us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hence, we are told in Psalms chapter 34, verse 19, many are the afflictions, not some, not few, many are the afflictions of the righteous, not of the wicked man. But the Lord deliver him out of them all. The deliverer is always there. You'll be afflicted, though. You'll be confronted. You'll be pressed. You'll be humiliated. But the Lord will always deliver you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Deuteronomy 31, the 6 told us, Be strong and courageous. Be strong and and courageous. If there will not be a problem, the Lord will not tell you in advance. If it's a smooth ride, free ride, the Lord will not tell you in advance. He's telling you and I, be strong and be courageous. No, be, af do, no, be afraid. Fear not, rather, not be afraid of them. Of them, them can be anything. Of them, whenever anything comes away, remember that is what we're talking about. Of them, of that demon, of that sickness, of, that, of those people who the, the devil is trying to use to put you down, of them. Don't be afraid of them. Always remember the Lord is there. For the Lord God, for the Lord that God, he is, he, it is that don't go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee, but you don't also fail him. Don't back off. Don't run away. If you run away, you put him into an open shame. Don't say because people are perfecting you, people are sitting around you, but because of that, you have to run away. If you run away, are you not leaving God there? No, don't run away from anything that's around you. The Lord will deliver you. I assure you for that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. The Bible told us in Romans chapter 5, 1 to 5. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Two, by whom also we have access by faith unto, into this, this, this grace, wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Three, and not only so, not only so, hmm? 
but we glory in tribulation also. We rejoice in tribulation also. Oh, thank God. I, I'm, I'm passing through the God of Christ. Hey, thank God. God has given you opportunity to also prove myself to Him. We glory in tribulation also. Knowing, knowing that tribulation worketh patience. For our patience, experience. The more things are happening, the more you are experiencing, the more you know how to back up yourself. And experience hope. Five, uh, hope make it not ashamed. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. Because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. So, remain strong and remain fit. By the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. Next one, please. Take time. Brethren, there are things that are, are bound to happen. In the life of true believers, fasting and praying will not stop them from happening. You know why? Because they are there to make us strong and fit. No matter how you fast and pray, some things must happen to you. Your fasting will not stop them. Your prayer will not stop them. That, those are the exams we must write. Sometimes, so people might just rise up and start fasting. You say, "What is happening?" Eh? You may have seen, you have not seen the Lord had just tell them up to press you to see if that pressing will take you away from hell. So whenever something comes your way, always think, should this be an exam again? I must not fail. I must stand strong. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 First Peter chapter 4, 12 to 14. Believe, uh, rather, beloved, think it not strange concerning the fairy trial, which is to try you, and though some strange things happen unto you, people around you may not understand. They might say, ah, this is how maybe she has sinned. This brother, maybe, it's it just, it's just apostle have not sinned. It's just, it's just, they will not understand. It's only you and your God will not uh, this is another step to a greater height. The Lord has just put a ladder on you again to step in again to another height. So no matter what people say at that time, be focused, be courageous, be prayerful, and be watchful. The Lord will defend his own all the time in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, uh, but rejoice in as much as ye are partaker of Christ's suffering that where his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with a singing joy. But if ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. On their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is being, he is what? Glorified. No matter what they are saying, so long you are doing the right thing. Keep on doing it. Let them mock him in your name, in your life. And they ask you, where is the God you are serving? Is God is God? Why are you like this? No problem. The ancient tale. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Brethren, if we want to see Christ in glory and to enter his eternal rest, we must take pleasure in what we are going through for the sake of making it to heaven. If we want, except maybe we are suffering wrongly, maybe because of sin, if you know there's no sin, take it wrong, take it with joy because of the sake of what we are about to enjoy when we take on. The Bible told us in 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10, Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions, in distress, for Christ's sake, not for the sake of money, not for the sake of any other thing. Nothing else will defend you, but if you suffer for Christ, it will defend you. For Christ's sake, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Brethren, Jesus Christ knew there are many things that will happen to us, his followers, that will result to panicking. Some things will happen that will result to panicking. He has foreseen this, especially in this end time. But he comforted us ahead of time. That's why we must get hold of the word of God. John 14, 27. Peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the word give it. Give it unto you. Let not your heart be troubled. You know there are things that will come to trouble your heart. That things you see. Ah, why? My wife, why are these? Sister, why, why me? He said, I've told you in advance, let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be what? Afraid. Hold on. It has come to pass. It will it surely pass away. But you hearing me? I don't know what I'm going to do. It came to pass. It must surely end. There's nothing that had beginning that had no end. The Lord, He put an end to everything you are going through, the Son of Him, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, and, and, brethren, we must learn to rejoice in our heavenly expectation and be patient in whatever we are going through for the sake of making it to heaven. Praise the Lord. Uh, 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 Romans 3, verse 12. Rejoice in hope, patience in tribulation, continue instant in prayer. And I pray any power that eating up our eating up our prayer strength, the Lord will destroy them and release the anointing of prayer upon us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Brother, take comfort Amen. in the word of God. Take comfort in the word of God. Psalm 94, verse 19. In the multitude of my thoughts within me, the, in the multitude of my thoughts within me. They comfort, they, they, they comfort, they light my soul. In the multitude of my tongue within me, not of, <coughs> not of what is happening, but the delight of the Lord comforted my soul. God will always be there to comfort you. Hold on to his word. Every situation has a solution in, in God's word. And I pray God will help us to always locate them in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, uh, but then remember the joy unspeakable that awaits you across the finishing line. Don't always forget this. Joy unspeakable, joy undeniable is waiting for me, Emmanuel, and you at the finishing line when we crossed over. Hence, the Bible told us in Romans 8, verse 15. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Sister, brother, the glory awaits you. The crown of glory, hey, is something anybody, nobody can describe. It's worth suffering for. It's worth having sleepless night for. It's worth laboring for. It's worth being humiliated for. And the Lord will give us the grace to bear anything we must go through for Him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. I'm stopping now. Brethren, let's take comfort from the Word of God, as I said before. Let's take comfort from the Word of God. No, for the Word of them that have gone before us, who made it through suffering, want, and pain. Let's take comfort from those who have gone ahead of us. They suffered, they were baptized, they were, they were dealt with, they were humiliated, they were frustrated, but yet they stood. Apostle Paul and all the apostles, they are one of they are among them. The all the old prophets, they are among them. And the Bible told us in Habakkuk chapter 3, verse 17 to 18. I'm stopping with this. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, although as if I'm wasting my time. Those are safe things are not working well. Neither shall fruit be in the vine. The labor of the olive shall fulfill, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock 
shall be cut off from the food, and there shall be no head in the store. Yet, yet, with I rejoice in the Lord, I will joy in the God of my salvation. Those are things I'm being stagnated. Those are things the old things are turning upside down on me. Those are if everyone are hating me. Those are if nothing I put on is working. But so long my salvation is secure, I will rejoice in the Lord. Okay, my Amen. Father, help me here. Jesus see whatever I need to go through. No matter what's around me, Father, help me to, to be joyful. Please give me the grace, Lord Jesus. So no matter whatever I have in the Father, please give me the grace to, to be joyful, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, Father. Lord Jesus, please, no matter what happened in the Bible, Lord Jesus, please give me the grace to all be joyful, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, Father, no matter what's happening around me, Father. Please give me the grace, that grace to be joyful. If I've been losing before, if I've been losing you before because of what I went through, from now on, I will not lose you again. From now on, no matter what comes my way, help me to always remember that you are there for me. I will never forsake you again. I will never ever fail you again. Help me, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, open my Amen. Amen. Father, Lord Jesus, Lord, Father, have mercy therefore me. Anyone who feel you, Father, have mercy therefore me, Lord Jesus. Me, Lord, that have come away, Father, help you, Lord Jesus. Help me, give me the grace, Lord Jesus, to go through you, Father. Give me the grace to bear you, Father, Lord Jesus, to know that you always there for me, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, help me. Mercy of God, the grace of God stand for us at the end of time. We all shall cross the finishing line and receive our glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Are you out there? You're not born again. The Lord is calling you. Please say after me if you have heard the word and you wish. To give your life to him, say, Lord Jesus, I've heard your word. I've decided to leave the fact of your sin and to embrace you. Have mercy upon me for all the life I've ever lived in sin. Wash me clean with your heat soap and purge me with your blood. I confess today that you are my Lord and personal Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Take my name away from the book of the condemned and write it in the book of life. I am born again today. All things have passed away and all things have become new. From now on, I will live my life for you till I meet you in glory. In Jesus Christ's name. Uh-uh. If you have confessed the confession, the Lord is rejoicing. We all this month are also rejoicing with you. And I pray with you. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I worship you. I thank you for your word of comfort to all this morning. Father, you have spoken to me. You have spoken to somebody out there. And someone that was maybe passing by, listening, and they have decided to give their life to you. Lord, I ask, oh God, that the grace we need to run this race to the end, you give it to me and to every one of us on this mountain. Mm-hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Now we understand that so long we are in this world and uh, we are for you, we are bound to face things. Mm-hmm. Father, no matter what we face, give us the grace to face them joyfully without losing faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As many of us who are weak, oh God, in faith, strengthen them, O oh God. Help us to stand strong so that we will know, so that we will always remember that there's something that no money can buy waiting for us at the cross of the line. In Jesus Christ's name, we are praying. Amen. Amen.
I made the peace of the Lord God Almighty be with you all and also with me in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Christmas. Bishop of a soul, shepherd of a soul. 